What's happening, everybody? Elon Musk buys NASCAR here! Welcome to the Daytona 500! Mike, 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 I'm so excited to be back, Mike! And we're off with the Daytona 500! Mike, what are you talking about? The race hasn't started! It clearly has, Clint! I don't hear anything! Everything is electric now, so you won't! Do the cars have mufflers now, Mike? No, Clint, everything is electric! Oh! Well, what happens when there's a power outage? What the fuck am I doing? I see a couple of champions up on the screen. Hubby Bubs, get with me. I thought that this would be a nice little segue from the 2023 season into the 2024 season. This would be something we could all look forward to to carry us through the off season, this career mode. But I'm starting to have some second thoughts. Any hamster over there got his helmet on. He means business. He sees William Clyde with that championship trophy and he is thinking, my year is next year. SpongeBob voice. Three years later. Bitch still hasn't got one. All right, so last week we did a Final Four preview with this game and it predicted Christopher Bell would be the champion. That couldn't have been any more incorrect. That goes to show you the intelligence level of NASCAR 21 Ignition. NASCAR 21 Ignition's mother smoked heavily when it was pregnant with it. Let's talk about 21 Ignition's parents. Its mother was a floppy disk. Its father, Denny Hamlin. Just got loser written all over it. It never stood a chance. All right, I'm gonna stop shitting all over Denny Hamster, though I imagine I'm gonna do that a lot this off season. We're gonna do a career mode. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna do a career mode. I don't wanna do a career mode, but I'm gonna do a career mode. And um, yeah, today's the Daytona's 500. Let's get with it. Oh God. All right, now this is the most up-to-date version of the game. It's got all the updates that Motorsport Games is ever gonna give it. These are the teams. None of the 2023 teams made it into the game. This game is gonna be bad enough as is. How do I make it worse? By driving the worst equipment in the field. Plus also, my initials kind of resemble the MBM because it's Michael Boobs Moobs. My middle name is Boobs. You didn't know that? Well, you learn something new every day. So this should be a perfect alliance. Sign that thing. My name is Michael Moobs. That is not my signature. Do not try to steal my identity. This part feels a little bit odd to me that I can adjust the temperature to whatever the hell I want it to be. Kind of feels like we're playing God here. Global warming is gonna take a hiatus in this career mode. 65 degrees all the time. I wanna give you guys a quick walkthrough of all the drivers that we're gonna be playing with. Here's the thing, here's how it goes. This is gonna be a modded version of the game that high TV friend of the channel put together for me. So we're gonna have some goofball names that you might see pop up if we continue like more seasons of this past this first season. Like that's why you see Jamai in the 84 and Gibby is in the 27 in our first year. Says his rookie year is 2022. But it's 2021. We're throwing in him to the fires then early. I, son of a bitch, I hit the button too damn fast. All right, so what I'm gonna do today, since swim all this is loaded, I'm gonna do 5% distance races. So we're gonna do two races. That's just kind of what I'm feeling. So we can get through more seasons and see more goofball drivers pop up. This is gonna be horrible, a truly horrible series. And I can't wait for it. I can't wait to see the goofballery that we come across as we're running this damn thing. So what do you say we finally get this series started? I've never done this on the channel before. I'm not excited. Let's get the video started. Let's get the series started. Let's go! Yeah! Hey, that's me. That is definitely me. I've never seen this before. I never watched this shit. We've got like three employees. But it didn't seem like the rest of the garage had anybody. So we're ahead of the game. Thank you for taking the time to put my name on the card. We're about to make Bumper.com infamous. Michael Boobs Moobs takes the green flag and qualls on his career. 21 Ignish, I've tried the career mode before all on live stream. I've never made a video of the career mode ever. Going into uncharted waters? I feel like Christopher Colombo today. Let's hope to God the day doesn't end with me taking over land that doesn't belong to me. Finishing up our first qualifying session, where will that leave us in this starting lineup? Sick, wow. Why is it my... 
Oh, I forgot. I legally changed my name before the qualifying session started. I forgot I'm player driver now. Michael Booms Booms Motorsport has definitely brought some firepower to the Daytones. I'm Alex Hayden, welcoming you to the Daytona 500, the great American race. 40 of the world's best stock car drivers are ready to tame this two and a half mile super speedway. Today is about avoiding the big one and giving yourself a chance at the end. The drivers know what's at stake virtual playoff lock and a chance to engrave their name on the Harley J. Earl Trophy. teams and drivers have been prepping for the entire offseason. Let's head down trackside to fire the engine. I don't know if I'm going to include that in every one of these races we do. I'm surprised. It seems like they updated the people. Like, Spindrick there didn't look as god-awful as he usually does, as all the drivers usually do. Typically, they look pretty bad in that uh, little pre-race introduction. This feels as if it's been years in the making. Finally, me doing this stupid-ass series. What will we see? Over the course of the next however long I do this, probably some stuff that is going to give you goose pimples and is gonna make your stomach turn. Let's get this series underway. I should probably make, why does my name? Why that is not my name? Whatever, I should mention that this might be the broken, yeah, they're already down beneath the yellow line. We're already four friggin' wide. I'm in the wall. I've got complex damage turned on, so I could pop a tire here. If I'm not careful, I could pop a tire here. This is the crazy, wonky, busted-ass version, crack whore version of Daytones that High TV put together where they don't obey rules. Like AI goes down beneath the yellow. What are you doing? I was there. You're a rookie too. We should be looking out for each other, bro. Only a 10 lap. What are they doing? Ah! Yeah, I don't know if whatever lap could be my last. When they're all going down into the grass like that, that could easily lead to some bad stuff happening. And I don't know if I have the capabilities of avoiding it. What is this? What are you doing? I'm gonna wreck you, bitch. I'm gonna, you give me that damn room. I don't care if it's your year, this year, next year, or the one after that. You give me my respect. We gotta be damn careful. Look at this. Look at this. You know what the problem might be here? I don't, oh shit. Oh damn, they are slow, aren't they? I don't believe it that I have the races long enough. Cautions aren't on. Cause NASCAR rules, I wasn't able to turn on with this distance. So I'm thinking maybe, I got it up 5%. Might bump that up to 15%. How does that, does that, does that sound all right? Yeah, we might do that. For race two, we'll set it to 15%. Then we'll at least get cautions and we should have stage breaks. What the hell happened to your ass, man? Oh, you spent too much time in the red light district. Cause this is a completely natural, typical Daytones race where the top two who are running side by side are able to drive off from everybody else. Now I gotta work with this doofus? and try to bump draft him up to Melanie in third. And then after that, maybe I could ditch him for Melanie and then we could go after the leaders. Is there anybody? Oh, they're gone. We freaking left them. So we're already set up for a pretty solid run here. Top five in our debut, hell yeah. They're doing some beating and banging up there. The five car and the nine car, they're riding on each other's doors. They think that they got this all sewn up, but no, 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 baby, Michael Boobs Moobs Motorsport is coming! Basically, what I'm trying to say is I bought a controlling stake in this team. My first order of business is change the car number from 66, flip upside down the other six to a 969. Oh, yeah. There ain't a goddamn way I'm going to continue to drive with this 11 car. Did I do that damage to you when I tried to wreck you? Yeah, I'm not going to work with you because every year you say it's your year and then no year is actually your year. You'd think one of these years would actually be your year, but none of them actually ever turn out to be. Oh, now he want the what? Wait, wait, are you, are you trying to help me or are you trying to pass me? I get the feeling you're trying to kill me. 
I did not want to do that. I'm fucked now. I got no draft in hell. I got nothing. Unless I, and you know what? Look at all that damage, man. That's not gonna be. Slip streaming through the air so I can just run these guys down and load their god. A third place spot for Michael Boobs moves. It's not a bad starting. It's, it's not bad. It's not a bad way to start this thing off. I want to be able to change my name. I do not want to look at player driver this entire time. Is anybody gonna be able to like drive up here and help me out? You know, help a player out, you know what I mean? We got the champ there and fourth. Maybe he can draft on up here with somebody and could do some bump draft and fellow Ford driver. I don't know why the hell I decided to drive a Ford. This is the only team that I could buy into. I didn't have that much money. They're getting closer to me. Definitely are getting, well, I mean, maybe. I'm not so sure I can really depend on that, really, that, on that leaderboard for anything. That leaderboard is for the birds. It's, it's not good. It's a bad leaderboard. They really didn't try too hard when they were putting that leaderboard together. Are they getting closer to me? Maybe. But well, you know what? Even if they were to run me down, we'd have to make up like 10 seconds. And there's only two laps to go. They're slowing down. They suddenly parked it a little bit, I believe, because there's a lap core. I'm pretty sure just slowed them down a ton. If I had drafting help right now, holy crap, I could win this thing. They're getting boned hard. No lube. No lubricated condom, no nothing. The one car is beneath the yellow line. Kaz Gorilla is fucking them. They're gonna be having his babies. And it sucks because the pack is coming. Damn, I need like one more lap car and I would be there. Underfunded teams helping out other underfunded teams. But you know what the weird part is? Kaz Gorilla's team is called the Money Team, yet they ain't money. He needed to hold them back a little bit longer. Unfortunate that he wasn't able to do that for me, because now the top two, they're bump drafted clear away. This is probably one of the worst Daytona 500 finishes in the history of Daytona 5. Honestly, in the history of NASCAR race finishes ever. Like, I'd rather watch the 2023 Phoenix truck race than this shit right now. Thank you for tuning in. Too little, too late from them back there. Bushy Bushy, Giggles Logano, if that's even an accurate leaderboard. Again, I could not tell you. Third place spot for Michael Boobs Moves. I gotta change my name? That's a solid career beginning. What the fuck? Pretty sure that Lala won that race. I actually know that he won that race. Jemai somehow won too, and so did Gibby. Gibby doesn't even have a manufacturer or a car number. They had, both of them didn't lead any laps, they didn't earn any money. So we're just gonna have to try to ignore that. Michael Moves is still my name. Who driver player? I don't know. Chevy already has three wins on the year, and they still don't lead the manufacturer battle. Up to 15%, put on NASCAR rules and on with the stages, and we're gonna run the last ever race to ever be run at the Two Mile Auto Club. I must be new to NASCAR. Does anybody know what a setup lap is? I've never once heard the lap coming around to take the green flag at a qualifying session to be called setup lap. Does motorsport games know something that I do not? That'll be the friggin' day. Put up a 16th in our first qualifying session ever with Michael Boobs Moobs Motorsport. I would like to better that. I'm looking at a poll. Where will we slot in? I'm looking at a one, negative one, I didn't actually think that that was going to happen. My name is still incorrect. You know all that I was saying was just a bunch of shit. I didn't actually think. Turn. Michael Boobs Moves is here to play. What the hell? What the hell? I got the ball by over a second. What in the world was he doing starting at first? This is a bunch of shit. I already, I already hate him. Like. All, you know, previous Denny Hamster bias aside, I hate that motherfucker. Two races deep into our career. The 11 and I, we got beef. We're underway at Auto Club for the final time until we come back in season two. This motherfucker don't want to handle. I know good and damn well, if I would have started up on that pull, I would have got a tremendous start. 
and I would have been able to drive off with it. Now I'm down to 18. I mean, maybe not drive off with it. Maybe I'm, I'm getting a little bit too ahead of myself because we still are driving a shitbox. 30 laps, my God, that's kind of a long time. We don't have too much good, good juice down the straightaway, but we did it qualifying day. Not sure what happened from qualifying trim to race trip. Hey, hey, you know what, we're coming back. Maybe we got more juice than I'm giving credit for. So the stages are on, the cautions are on. Have no idea when the, oh no, there it is. I keep forgetting that they added that because for a long time you had no idea when the stages ended. We've got until lap nine, that is when stage one will conclude. I would like the world to know that this crappy team is hanging with Hendrick Motorsports equipment. Going into this year, I'm already optimistic we got a poll. How are we gonna keep up with Jubai though? If they're just willing to give him free wins. Don't you hit me. Oh, wow, he sent it so deep in there. We'll just give it to him. I'll use him for some drafting help to keep me ahead of Free Willy. He must be like scratching his helmet and saying, Who the hell is this son of a bitch of the 66? And why is he outrunning me? As we take back the 10th, uh, not 10th spot. That's the 10 car. Now don't you do it. I want 16th pays out great stage points. Fuck. I got on, like I said, I have on that complex damage. If I hit the wall too hard, I will blow out a tire and we will have to make a pit stop unnecessarily. This thing is tight as shit. We gotta make. Stay right. Clear, clear. It just happened so fucking easily. I, I didn't mean to do that. We didn't score any damn stage points. Denny Hamster, that fuck, takes all the stage points that I should have gotten. Why did I start on the pole? We are definitely going to be making a pit stop. What I was about to say was I want to make adjustments because it's really tight. Do we need to get out the hammer for this? There it is. There it is. Freaking Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But with a hammer. Why am I all the way back here? Player driver! Did nobody make a pit stop? Is that what's going on here? Did not a single soul end up coming down pit road? And I was all down there by my lonesome. Is that what you're telling me? That they all feel so confidently about what they have? Damn it! I didn't really need to pit now thinking about it, like for tires and for fuel. <sighs> I didn't realize, see, we got some stuff to learn because I've never really done this before. What the hell happened to you? What, what am I saying? It's Harrison Ford. <laughs> I just answered my own question. Why does it say I'm on lap nine after I complete? Am I? I'm a lap down, aren't I? They put me a lap down because the caution came out before I hit that stupid friggin' line. I'm willing to bet you that there's only about like 15 cars on the lead lap. And that kind of blows because I'm really fast at the moment. Yeah, look at Outback Stenhouse in 16th is behind Steve Harvey in 21st. This game could fuck itself. Our race just became significantly more difficult because I'm gonna have to drive. There's no free passes. There's no wave arounds. I'm gonna have to drive my keister all the way up to the lead and unlap myself naturally if I expect to get back in contention. I'm the pole center. We've driven up as far as we can. We're all the way up to 17th. That's it. Top 16 are all on the lead lap. I am not. It is gonna be a long friggin' season. Definitely got the tightness knocked out of it. We could like really contend if I could find my way back on the lead lap. So do I have fresh tires and they don't? Did they all take tires? I have no friggin' idea and there's no way of finding that out. Well, they're, wow, they tried to kill the game. I saw a little Bow Wow grab some of that wall there and the game almost died. This is my favorite corner. They all go so damn slow through here. I wanna hit you. And that, but I make some stupid amounts of time. What I gotta do, no cautions, let this play out, end of the stage, unlap my stupid ass, get Bumper.com back into this thing. What the hell is Bumper.com? And stay on the lead lap to end the stage. There's only a few laps left to do it, but we're here. Wow, power move. We might have the best car out here. Do we have the time to get back to the front? I'm just sitting here wondering how this is even going to be played out by the game with me being out front of all of them once this stage ends. Once the 10th place person hits the line, then I'll lose control over the car. The game will take over. Will they allow me to get my lap back? Will they respect 
the amount of work that I did driving all the way back up here. I, I, we'll see after the restart. I'm on lap 10 of nine in stage two. Let's go! Like it should be taking over any second now. The game is, I'm surprised, still allowing me to go. I would think by now 10th place has hit the line. Or that stupid stage lap counter is completely incorrect. Now on lap 11 of nine. Okay, the stage is over. There we go. Am I back in this race? Please tell me that I am. Here are the stage results. T-Rex takes it. La la there and say, we, uh, we still haven't scored any stage points yet today. We're not going to score any. But maybe, maybe we're back in the race. I'm not going to pit because I think we can make it to the end with what we have. And we're actually getting a restart in 17th. That's pretty all right. I think I'm on the lead lap. Wow. They're all not. They're passing me and it's not adjusting on the leaderboard. A lot of wide right here in front. I thought they were going to grab a little bit of wall and cause some sort of pileup because we're on 12 to go. Middle of three. Shit, I forgot they park it up on the top lane in that corner. I got to see if I can pick up a spot here from... Yes, we're, we're in the race. We're back on the lead lap. Got the fuel to make it. The tires aren't wearing out too bad. And we've got the speed, obviously, to drive all the way up to the front. We have the time. 11 laps, that's a lot of time here. Special. Ugh. Especially with how bad they are in that friggin' corner. Ten laps of racing remain, and we're knocking on the door of that top ten. Get the hill over here, little bell. Give me, sorry, right, give me some suck. We have way more power than we should. This 66 car never showed this kind of speed. I don't know what the hell Ignition's thinking. Wow, wow, wow. I sent it down in there. We made up, what, like five? Five spots. Thought I was gonna blow out the right front. The game screwed me over by taking my pull away, giving it to Hamster, their love child. And then they tried to screw me over again, but put me a lap down for no reason at all. I adjusted on the car, drove all the way up to the front. Oh shit. Don't wanna wreck anybody else. I don't wanna go a lap down again. Basically what I'm saying is, Ignish cannot keep me down. It's kind of funny because I'm not running one consistent line around here that's making me fast. I'm kind of just driving all over the place and yet somehow I'm still faster than everybody else. I thought this was a simulator. They're looking at like blah, four wide for the lead. Gladly, I will gladly accept y'all doing that because I'm just going to swoop to the bottom, make it five wide for a brief moment and take that lead. Send it in. We got beef, got legit beef, and it's race two. Fuck! I'm gonna have to make a pit stop here because uh, I, I gotta make a pit stop here. Confirm! Beat the crap back out of that thing! Get that hood flat! We had this piece of shit one until that piece of shit got in my... <laughs> Why was he ever born? Oh my god. The, um, we're on lap 30! One lap shootout. All right. So Motorsport Games couldn't even get that correct. They couldn't even get... A green-white checkered programmed in the game? Is that what you're freaking telling me? If I had a green-white checkered, maybe I could do a thing or two. I'm not gonna be able to do bumpkins! Guys, just gotta, I guess we're just sending it. I'm sending it. I'm not gonna pick up any spots, am I? Yeah, I'm not close enough. I'm not freaking close enough to anybody. I'm not gonna even get 16th. That fucking... It said white flag. You're telling me I have to go the next however many months? Doing this dumb shit. Player driver, player driver, who the fuck is player driver? Maybe I should have just stayed out. I just felt like, uh, damn, do I got too much damage? Did I pop a tire? I didn't want to attempt that final lap on three tires. Welcome to Ignish. T-Rex wins by 32 one thousandths of a second. Yahoo! What the fuck? Huh, I I really would have thought. Okay, so the other two, Jimmy down to 20th, and Gibby's now driving the 66. I've been replaced after one, two races. Mains has won both of his starts. Jimmy has won the Daytona 500. Who else is out here? Lil Bow Wow's apparently only made one start. Boof, one start. Noah Zark, Jim Jim Yealy. And so we've got some different people making starts, which is kind of cool. I just don't really know what the hell's going on with Jabai and Gibby, who... 
Now he's in the 41. Lala's locked through to the playoffs. T-Rex is locked up. He's got, they both got wins here the first couple of races. We're at eighth in points. We dropped three spots. I don't know how that's possible, being that we finished at third. Mans bumps up 35 positions. That is impressive. Owner standings, there the hell is that? Teams, I don't know what that is. The manufacturers, they got four wins already. Take a look at some of our, what is this called? The reputation on the radar of some other teams. I feel like I'm gonna stick with Michael Boobs Boobs Motorsport this first year, and then maybe after that, we'll explore our options. Our contract only goes four more races, so it'll be like another couple of episodes, and then we'll have to sign something. Yeah, next time, we're gonna run Viva Las Viagra, then we're gonna run Phoenix. That's gonna do it for me now. I hope you guys are excited for this, because I am not. Thank you for watching. I love every single last one of you. Um, I know it's off season. I know that, you know, NASCAR's gone for a while, They're, it's in hibernation, but I'm gonna do everything in my power to bring you guys some NASCAR content to keep you entertained in these quiet months before the Daytona 500, before everything gets revved back up again. I'm sure this game is gonna give us so many great memorable moments. and. I can't wait for it all. I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Goodbye!